Good morning. Happy Friday, y'all. Thank God it's Friday. Where my old heads at? Y'all remember that song? I don't even remember who sung it, but it's Friday. You know, it could be a little lighter outside, a little brighter. But I won't complain. Let me wipe y'all off. Okay, much better. I won't complain because it's Friday. So I'm on the phone with Comcast. So if y'all hear someone just come in and just rudely interrupt this girl talking. I'm trying to figure out why this bill is looking the way it's looking. You know what I'm saying? Because we signed up for blast internet speed because with my job and working from home i have to have a certain amount of speed in order to continue to work from home and we were never getting that speed and um we had like multiple technicians come out they all confirmed we're not getting the speed so i ended up leaving them and going over to verizon and i left comcast the first, like the second of march so they billed a, a month in advance and my billing cycle should have only really charged me like maybe eight days. I feel like they're billing me for the whole month. So the girl was like, oh, we charged you for um, installation of your um, home security and the cameras. And I'm like, no, y'all didn't charge me for installation of the cameras because we installed those ourselves. Like the man came in and installed the home security, but we installed the cameras. So she's like, oh, yeah, yeah. So she really is kind of like back and forth and she doesn't really like quite know what she's talking about like I don't think that she really I think my bill is just confusing her which I understand because I, do, I handle billing at my job too which is very 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 frustrating at times um so I get it but I just need her to give me the real deal like I really want to know what I'm about to pay and what's what or whatever you know what I'm saying hold on here she is y'all hold on yes yes I'm here Comcast is some crooks, y'all, and I'm glad I got rid of them, for real, for real. And I'm going to go in to the location this weekend, and I'm going to have to go over this bill in person because the representative was real nice, real patient, but she still sounded unsure the entire time we were talking, which was 48 minutes, and I'm still left with, like, why is my bill so high? So that was a waste of time. So I'm definitely about to figure out what's going on because... She's like, oh, um, well, there's a $25 late fee. Okay, um, how y'all charging a late fee when I canceled my service because I got the bill and it was saying it was due whenever it was due. And I called, as soon as I got the bill, I called them and I'm like, you know, I'm, I need to terminate my service um, before my due date and I need you guys to adjust the bill and send me a new bill. I never got an adjustment. Instead, I get this letter saying, um, pay my bill before my services are disconnected. And the crazy thing is that I called um, like maybe two weeks ago and I still was like, I'm just checking on my bill. I haven't received a revised bill. And um, I got a, oh, um, it's, it's in process or something like that. You should be getting it shortly. And then I get this bill. Let me prop y'all up on something real quick because I'm trying to knock out these eggs. So yeah, we're pretty much not gonna um. Mm. Y'all. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> that was me eating a a boiled egg. But um. Yeah, I definitely am gonna go to church on Sunday. So I'm gonna get Caden from his grandma's house. I still need to. Um, I didn't pack his church outfit or nothing. So. I'll probably just get him a little early so he could change real quick there and then shoot the church. Then we'll hit the gym. And if anything, Sunday we'll probably go out and get something to eat or something like that. But we're going to take it real easy, real cool. We were supposed to have movie night tonight. But since he his dad got him yesterday, um, we'll probably have movie night Sunday. So the plan was for all of us to go and have a little slumber party in Caden's room on Sunday. So we're going to do that. And um, that's pretty much going to be our weekend. Let me tell y'all what I do every morning when I come in my office. Let me show y'all. Let me zoom in so y'all can see. So, of course, as you know, that is my vision board, which if you haven't seen, it's in another vlog, um, a couple vlogs back. Um, 
those are my designer books that I made. It was a DIY. Um, I didn't really show how to make them because it was my first time and I didn't know how they were going to come out. So I just was like, mm. And then these are the Billy book bookshelves from Ikea um, that, of course, you guys know everyone uses them for multiple things majority shoes just fine but i didn't want mine to just be a plain white so sean did a marble backdrop for me on those and um i have two of them as you can see i need a third one but i'm just like i just need to put some shoes up it's about to be summer so i can put my boots and stuff up in shoe boxes and put them in the attic for now and then um i'll have enough space i just have to just pull them out when it's the season but anyway every morning I come in my office I sit here and I look at my vision board and <clears throat> what I say to myself is well actually I say it out loud so um I can look at my vision board right now and see that I've already knocked off things without really knowing like y'all see the horse the horse is right there um, I went horseback riding and y'all also see the other girl on the horse right there. So I had two horses. I went horseback riding in Punta Cana and that was my very first time being on a horse. So that's something that I knocked out. Um, what else do I have going on here that I did? Oh, I never went and got a professional massage and as you can see, it's right there. So I knocked that out and, um... I'm just hoping that I just can knock everything out. I have a YouTube plaque there. I have 100K there, which I want that to be my followers as well as my income. Nothing wrong with that. I have 750 credit score there. And, um, oh Lord, y'all, Kate in school. Let me see what they want. Hold on. Oh, it's just an important message. Sorry about that, y'all. It's a half day of school, so Justin took his, took it into his mom's, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, so I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I'm just looking at this and I'm just like, I really just want to knock this stuff out. I want to start eating right and it to be a lifestyle. I want, I did start crafting. I see that. Um, I want to buy a house right there, the couple, um, and then the house in the corner that's being built. Um, yeah, so it's just so much stuff that I want to obtain and I just sit here every morning that I'm in my office and I just say, I look at everything and I just call it out and I say, um, you know, money is flowing in abundantly. Good health is in me. Um, I say, um, travel, um, I just say stuff like, you know, traveling, I will go to Cabo and I have Cabo up there. I will obtain 100,000 followers. I will up my income to $100,000 this year. I will lose such and such weight. And then as you see, 500 subscribers is right there. So that's my goal. I feel like that's a really good goal. Um, but I'm just, I'm shooting for 100,000 so I can get the plaque. And, you know, I just keep saying I will tackle the ropes at the gym. I will, you know, um, get fit. I will dress the part. I will get stamps on my passport. I will buy a house. I will this. I will that. Everything on this board is coming to me in abundance. And you have to really, really believe it. Like, you have to believe it almost as if the pictures on here are pictures that you took in that moment and that's how real it needs to be so that's just my morning routine and then i of course say a prayer now um thanking god for everything that he's given me um i pray daily but like i said in yesterday's vlog i just really need to talk with god more often and that's what i'm working on just building my um relationship with God and then like right here I have this book that I also read daily me and Araya got one together when we were out and um it goes by each day of the um year and so today is April 5th 
And I just feel like, you know, stuff like this is just good for balance. Um, April 5th is the world is alive. The world of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. So, I mean... You know, I just feel like it's just necessary to have that spiritual balance, work balance, life balance. All right, y'all. So I'm on my first break, and it's freaking freezing in this house. Yesterday felt so good, I turned the air, the heat off. Whew. And I really don't want to turn it back on because the temperature keeps going up. One day it's nice, then it's cool, then it's nice. It's just... I don't want to keep messing with this, so I'm going to just leave it off and cover up, make it nice and easy for myself. But anywho, I'm on my break, so I'm about to heat up some lunch for myself because my little boiled egg and uh, grapefruit don't wore off. So, oops, what am I doing? I'm about to, um, hold on, y'all. I'm making a mess. Not the aluminum foil, y'all. Get in here. Let me slip up my robe because it is freezing. I know y'all like you always singing something. But people who sing, no, they understand. That's what we do. Like we 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 sneeze, we sing our sneezes, y'all. We come up with the random songs and all that. That's just what we do. So I'm getting ready to put a piece of garlic bread in the toaster oven. I'm gonna have that with some of the leftover um, pasta I made last night. If you haven't seen the video that I posted, basically just addressing, you know, the drama between Keisha Anderson and her sister. It's like, just leave it alone. And I posted not for subscribers and none of that, none of that, not to get involved in it and nothing, but simply just to be another voice for her. Because what happens is as like new YouTubers such as myself, you know, you watch these other YouTubers that you've been watching for years. And when stuff like this happens, you know, it can be discouraging. You know what I'm saying? Because it could be like, dang, like, I don't know if I want to do this. I don't want to ever get involved in this type of thing. And like most of the drama comes from when the person starts collaborating with other channels and stuff like that, which is always a good thing to do. But it comes with other things too. You know what I'm saying? Because excuse me, that person has their platform already established and then they collab with you. Their viewers may not necessarily like you or dig your personality. And then it just comes with just too much. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that I would never be open to collaborating one day. I would, but I'm just saying ultimately, um, it can just kind of be a little discouraging. And I know that there are some people that may you know want to start a youtube channel and they could just see all the drama and be like dang this is what's, what's what it's about i don't want to be a part of that and you just want to know that there are people out there that aren't for the drama that will have a voice for you and be like yo leave her alone let me turn on the light see if that helps a little bit it's <sighs> like i said it's not a real bright day out today so we working with very little sunlight but um yeah and i just feel like it's you know if you support someone and you watch them transition into the person that they are for the better and all that and you see the youtube world not saying everybody on youtube but enough are attacking one person it's like okay you know use your platform to speak positive you know what i'm saying do better. We just got to do better. We got to support each other more, be more positive on each other's platform, stop tearing each other down. You know what I'm saying? It's enough money in this world for everybody to eat. 
seriously. And it's enough land for everyone to have a house. Unfortunately, that's just not the way of the world, but it's enough for us, you know? And I just feel like everybody, it just becomes like people just hate or are greedy or whatever. But yeah, y'all, not too much going on. I'm just about to fix me my little bit of lunch. Y'all already know on the weekdays, if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I work from home. So, um, I really don't do much vlogging on the weekdays because it's not much for me to vlog. You know, in the morning, sometimes I might run to the gym or run some errands, stuff like that. And I'll take you guys with me. But days like today where I, um, pretty much stayed in the house and took care of some work in the house cleaned up a little bit it's not really too much to vlog so you know i'll just jump on and just chit chat with y'all for a little bit but y'all really won't get much scenery until i got go out on the weekend or something like that so hey y'all so i'm on my lunch break which is my second break of the day <sighs> sorry for the lighting Ugh, I didn't want to turn on the light and then it'd be like all in y'all face. Hold on. So, yeah, y'all, it is cold outside. Like, let me let y'all know. It is a bit nip. It is a bit nip. Oh, no, I think I'm going to get a, um, a little snack. My snack of choice. Y'all like doubles? This is the raspberry ones. I like the raspberry ones because, <clears throat> you know, the little fruit pocket in them are so small. So I never feel like I'm getting enough fruit to mix in with my um, cottage cheese. And in these, because the raspberry, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it just kind of is more like a smoother base. So it blends in with the cottage cheese a lot better. As y'all know, I already ate lunch earlier, so... So, yeah, y'all talk to me. Y'all my only co-workers, for real, for real. You know, working at home has its advantages. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? But because I work from home and then on top of that, my hours are long. I work 10-hour days. I don't, um, I don't really have much interaction. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the only interaction I have is, you know, social media or like my my friends that I text and stuff, but for the most part, you know, they know I'm working. So I might talk and text a few of my coworkers during the day, but that's it. Other than that, Sean, when Sean comes home and Kaden come home, they're my only uh, company for the day. And that's like all week. But, I wouldn't change it because, let me tell y'all, I don't even know what it feel like. I don't want to know what it feel like to go back into the swing of, like, having to go to the job, traffic, getting up early, cold, raining, mm -mm. rushing. I literally like to lay in bed, roll out, brush my teeth, wash my face. Sometimes don't even get dressed, keep my pajamas on like today. But y'all know most of the time I run some errands in the morning and stuff. But yeah, y'all. Like, God be knowing because, let me tell y'all. This is the longest I've ever kept a job. The longest. I'm just not good with it. Like, I don't like working for people. I'm just not good with it. And, um... I was like, if I have to go back into the work field, because I was like, when I had my business, my first business, and I'll talk to y'all about that a little more, because I know y'all like, what? We don't know that. Um, when I started my first business, I started that right after I had Kaden. And um, I just wanted to be in a position to be able to like stay at home with him. And... I didn't trust nobody with him, daycare-wise and all that. So I didn't do daycare, nothing. Um, 
we got through with my business, you know what I'm saying? That was for a good, like, three and a half years. And then, when my main part, I'm so sorry, y'all, I'm being so rude. The way I'm tearing up this daggone double in front of y'all, um, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm done. That was rude. Y'all, like, this ain't no mukbang. I was saying it up to one But, um, yeah, so, when they pulled my, uh, when the FDA pulled my main product off the line, off the market, um, you know, there was no way I could, like, pretty much stay in business with that. So, I had to stop doing that business or whatever. Excuse me. And I was kind of, like, forced into the job market. And it was just so new to me because I'm used to... I was just used to being home, being able to just do whatever I wanted to do with my time. Oh, God. I, I used to, at that point, like a year and a half out of the three and a half years, I lived in Florida. And um, <clears throat> like the last year and a half of my business, I lived in Florida. Kaden was like, I want to say like two. And... I used to just go to the beach, we used to go to the park, go to the pool, like we literally could just do whatever we wanted to do, I was home with him all the time, you know, and I really, really like miss them days, like I miss being able to just get up and do what I want to do with my day, and not have to clock in someone's job and all that other stuff, but you know, I'm just thankful that I didn't have to pay daycare, I think all of Caden's life, I probably spent two fifty on um daycare, and that was when I came back to Maryland and I had to like start looking for work. Excuse me, when I first um got my job, um, I had to pay daycare for like maybe like two weeks or something like that, something not nothing long, and then his dad, um, him and me and his dad ended up getting back together or whatever, and. Um, he had Caden for a while till he started working and then um, by the time we both were working, Caden was eligible to get into pre uh, Head Start. So, well, we had him at Head Start and then his dad would just get him out of school, whatever. So, we worked it. We worked it. We worked the system and we did what we had to do. You know, some people... They they get on the system, and they just stay on there. And when I say on the system, we didn't have, like, um, Section A vouchers or nothing like that. But when I had Kaden, I did have WIC. So I got help with, like, formula. Um, I have no shame in saying we had food stamps. We had cash assistance. Um, like I said, I was working for myself. His father was working for himself. So we were working for ourselves, and I was just starting the business. We were hustling it together. And so... Um, Basically, the cash assistance money that we would get, we would take it and flip it, triple it and quadruple it sometimes. So, um, that's what we did, and it, and it got us through. We had a very, very comfortable lifestyle because it wasn't like we was getting much on food stamps, and we weren't definitely weren't getting nothing on uh, cash assistance. We was getting like 500 something. So, that's nothing to live on. That wasn't even enough to pay the rent, but... Um, we made it work because my business came through for the girl. I'm telling you, like, it came through. I remember one weekend we were out and uh, we were out eating and I had, did, like, a promo because I always did sales and stuff. I used to have a company called Detox Me Now and I sold weight loss products and stuff. And um, so I had put a sale up. I made, like, I think $900 in, like, two hours. Literally, like, we were sitting there, and it was just going off PayPal. Bing, bing, bing. And I'm like, dang. And the more you bought, the better of a deal you would get. So, I definitely tried to emphasize on my sales and stuff like that. But, yeah, so I made a lot of money with that business. It was very, very lucrative. I'm thankful. I'm blessed. Um, yeah, and so now we're moving on to... Other endeavors, I'm working on getting Kate and his business going. We're just trying to get in the house and just get completely settled and stuff. And then um, we're going to break out his machine and get him working on some stuff, order his materials that he needs and his apparel and stuff. And then Kaden's going to have his business going. And then me and Sean, Sean wants to get a grill um and me and sean want to do events and stuff so our goal is to get like a grill commercial grill with a trailer and um a food trailer 
and start doing, um, you know, events and things like that. Um, I specialize in like crab trays. So I make really good sauces for like the crab legs and stuff. And um, my favorite, or I guess my most popular, um, is garlic and herb and then jerk. And it's so good, y'all. I'm telling y'all. <sighs> Y'all ain't never had no crabs. Y'all gotta go ahead over to Facebook and Instagram and follow my um business page. It's called Crabby Chick and Grill. And that's the same on Facebook and Instagram. So get go ahead on over there, y'all. I've been a little quiet just because um I wasn't taking any orders for a while. I was just trying to get moved in, get settled in, and then I had my girls trip and so I'm still kind of settling in. So I haven't really been like promoting it much lately or putting it out there like that. Because I just was like, dang, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful and I'm blessed and that I'm able to have these streams of income. But I also have to be careful and I also have to watch myself. And, you know, I have to still be legal when I do stuff. And so when I'm doing these... Um, craft trades and stuff out the house i don't mind doing them for people that i know but when it starts to go you know the hearsay travels fast so when i start serving strangers i just want to be careful and cover myself and i just don't think it's worth it to take the risk all the time so i haven't been promoting it like that <clears throat> and i'm just kind of like just pushing to save and get this food trailer so and that's what we're working on see y'all getting to know a girl y'all getting to know a girl but yeah, y'all, I just wanted to just jump on and just chit chat with y'all for a little bit. And my day is a cool, smooth Friday, y'all. Like, I, I don't have access to my main billing system that I need to really pretty much do my job. And um, last week or earlier this week, I had access to one region, but not the other. So I could take some of the calls. I just couldn't take all of them. But now today, literally, like, I don't have access to either region. And so, like, 99% of my calls I'm having to transfer. So I'm literally like, oh, I don't have access to the billing system at this time. I will need to connect you over to a billing rep who can assist you further. I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining. So... I'm just a transfer rep today, you guys. An operator. That's how I feel. I feel like I'm an operator today. So it's no stress, no nothing, because I don't got to get involved in your bills, because I can't help you with it. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. So, I don't know, y'all. That's pretty much what's going on. I'm excited. I mean... I've been wanting to do YouTube now for years, like for years, and I always was just kind of like nervous, kind of scared to jump out there. I just, you know, we're our biggest critics, and I was always like, you know, oh, I need to lose more weight, or I want to get my teeth fixed first, I'm going to get my braces put on first, blah, 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 and I'm like, shorty, I had to look myself in the mirror and be like, shorty. This is who you are, you know what I'm saying? This is who you are, and you're a people magnet, regardless, like, people love you you love people like this is who you are and i've had so many people be like you need to start a youtube channel you're hilarious i would love to watch you i would tune into your channel every day and then finally i was like you know what bump it you only live once i'm not promised tomorrow and i'm not gonna keep putting off what i want to do you know what i mean for the sake of what others may feel or what others may say or whatever like nah negativity on my channel block keep it moving like i'm not doing any of that like nah so people are always gonna have something to say it's just life so yeah y'all my break is about almost over i got like 15 more minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and <sighs> kick up my feet a little bit and relax turn on some tv sean should be on his way so i'm gonna text him and ask him to um bring me home some sunflower seeds so I'll chat with y'all later. I'll let him get on the vlog. Because he was like, you don't be putting me on the vlog no more. And I'm like, because you don't be speaking to them. You don't be speaking. You making like you can't speak. You know what I'm saying? Nobody want no funny actors and my up in their vlogs. So, um, but y'all know he not really, uh social media type but he's he's warming up too he's getting better he did the video if y'all haven't seen the co-parenting video check it out it's posted excuse me 
and um we're gonna be doing that sean isn't gonna always be in the videos with me but some topics he'll he'll do with me but that's been posted and it'll be up um so we do the unwind with chrissy j every thursday and the video will go up by 9 p.m eastern time i might move the date um i did thursday because of my day off but I might end up moving the date and just post the video on Friday so that I don't feel so rushed to do the video, edit, and post it. Um, but because it's a conversation and it's it's just real chill, it, it doesn't require too much editing because we're in conversation. You know what I'm saying? So right now I'm going to keep it at Thursday. But if I feel the need to eventually move it, then I'll let you guys know. But yeah, check out the video. Comment, like, share subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell to be notified did that rhyme y'all like share comment subscribe don't forget to hit the bell to be notified and oh, check out that girl buzz like i mean they ain't ready mm -mm, they not ready you know what i'm saying they ain't ready that's exactly why i work from home because the world is not ready for this girl you know what i'm saying <sighs> anyway, y'all, let me go ahead upstairs and watch some news and see what's going on in this crazy world we live in. I'll be back when babe gets home so y'all can say hello. Oh, this is Sean's here. I just twisted them all up by twos. Let me just put it up in a ponytail. Wash my head up like this, y'all. Nice and healthy. That's what we're doing on Friday night, y'all. Instagram, YouTube, what, you're not Google there. search. <laughs> Say hey. I'm punching nothing. <sighs> I actually want to get up and go to the um the grocery store and get some yogurt. Because I kind of want like a dessert. I'm hungry, actually. But I don't want to eat no more of what I made. What y'all want to do? Uh, yeah. Huh? I don't know what I want to eat either. We're four out of our minds, y'all. But we never do this. We always are like doing stuff, so. The lighting isn't the best. Sorry, y'all. He don't have his light on over there, that's why. Let's go better on but anyway, I just wanted to get on and say good night. We're not doing nothing. We're just chilling out. Good night. Oh, yeah. Uh-uh. You got to say words. You can't just put your big hand over the camera. Anyway, y'all. Hope everybody had... Stop! Hope everybody had a good day. By the time y'all see this, it'll be Saturday. That's supposed to be this way, y'all. to try and get up on the camera. Yeah. If y'all didn't uh, watch the video, the co-parenting Unwild with Chrissy, it is uploaded. I'll leave the link in the description box. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Good night. Sean. You can't just... Can't Let me do it. it. All right, then do it. Good night. Good night. Hit the red button. Good, but I'm not touching it.